Deserts cover a third of the face of our planet. Their inhabitants have evolved for these harsh environments over generations. But across the world, a new desert-like habitat is growing, and it's evolving faster than many can keep up with. And in these urban hotspots, temperatures are soaring. With another 2.5 billion people predicted to live in cities by 2050, the race is on to adapt our world's busiest places for a changing climate. Cities are actually heating up twice as fast as the rest of our globe. Our cities are built for a different era. They're not built for the climate that is ahead of us. The materials that we build them with, concrete and asphalt and cement and glass and steel, are materials that absorb heat and radiate heat at night. But it's not just the material, it's also the heat that we as humans create in cities, which makes cities even hotter. In the future, heat waves are expected to become more common and intense. The consequences in our cities could be deadly. The numbers are staggering. With the heat waves that we had in the summer of 22 in Europe, we had 61,000 people's deaths linked to those heat waves. And we're talking about a period of a couple of weeks where we lost an enormous amount of people. The ancient city of Athens was one of the cities hit the hardest. Οι υψηλές θερμοκρασίες χρόνο με το χρόνο αυξάνονται. Αυτό αποτελεί μια πρόκληση και για τη δημόσια υγεία. During the worst of the heat waves, the Hellenic Red Cross set up emergency response teams to help vulnerable people. Emergency solutions from cooling centers to city shade maps are all being rolled out during heat waves. But while human efforts focus inside the city, outside of it, the heat is fueling fires that are helping desert-like conditions to expand. Heat waves are usually the beginning of a series of other types of disasters that cascade after heat waves. For example, long periods of heat waves uh, bring about droughts and the lack of humidity uh, really facilitates and triggers wildfires, which we've seen last summer. For example, we had incredible wildfires all around the Mediterranean. Ten years ago, I was in the whole area here. Όταν πρώτο ήρθαμε εδώ ήταν όλα πράσινα, τώρα είναι όλα μαύρα. Βλέπουμε πλέον δέντρα και αναρωτιόμαστε απλά πότε θα καούν. Και αυτό γίνεται κάθε χρόνο. About 2.5 million acres of land around Athens has been burnt in wildfires since 2017, including vast swathes of native forests that used to surround the city. Τα τελευταία χρόνια οι πυρκαγιές που εκδηλώνονται τείνουν να έχουν μεγαλύτερη ένταση και να οδηγούνται σε μια ακραία συμπεριφορά, φαινόμενα που δυσκολεύουν και δυσχεραίνουν το έργο της κατάσβεσης. The fires destroy vital habitats for wildlife and losing so many trees leaves the area and the city even more vulnerable to heat. So Athens as a city needs more green. We don't have enough natural environment that can dissipate all this. The most desirable weapon that we have is nature. We need to go from grey infrastructure to green infrastructure. A city that has trees and streams and soft areas where you can walk mixed in with the housing and the restaurants and the bustling noise of the city. In Athens, nature-based solutions are being used to make a cooler, more sustainable city. One hope is that by reviving a 2,000-year-old aqueduct, a lush green corridor will soon stretch through Greece's capital. The Hadrian's Aqueduct is an aqueduct that is uh, mainly underground. It collects water from the resources of Mount Parnitha and also all the groundwater of the 24 kilometers that it passes through. We are utilizing a water resource that is lost mainly to the sea for irrigation purposes to create more green and blue spots in the city. Using nature to future-proof our cities in the face of climate change is a mindset shift. The most important thing is to be able to get rid of our lives so that we can start more easily to protect our environment. We can grow a community that cares. And I think this is very important. We are greening and we are creating a culture around how to collaborate with nature in a better way. It's a luxury to be cynical. We have to keep hoping and keep working. 
we have to prioritize nature in our cities.